Whenever I make akara, it reminds me so much of my growing up years. When my mom makes akara every Saturday for breakfast, it also reminds me of the first time I made akara. Ah, you need to see oh, <laughs> the whole thing scattered inside the oil. Well, that is a story for another day. Welcome back to my channel, my sweet lovelies. Hope we are all good. In this video, I want you to join me because I made a sharp sharp akara. But the akara was super yummy. So, I was making breakfast and I felt like doing this video. Look at the beans I used. I've already cleaned these beans. Please feel free not to remove the skin. After washing your beans for akara, let it soak for a few minutes in water so that it will soften the beans. To make akara, all you need are your beans, salt, onions, and hot chili, and also water. Look at how I prep my ingredients. For the chili and the onion, I will divide them in two. I will nicely chop one part and roughly chop the other part. The same thing I will do to the chili. I will nicely chop one part and the other one I will blend it together with the beans. For the beans, I poured it in the blender. Other parts of the onion and the chili, I added it also to these beans. Added little water. When you're adding water to your beans for akara, please add more water. Don't add too much water because if you add too much water, it's going to be watery. I blended this to a smooth paste. And after blending, another thing you're going to do is to transfer to a bowl. You can either use your manual mixer or your stand mixer or your fluffer. This blender came with a fluffer, but the strength of washing it now, I don't have that strength. So I always prefer to use this manual whisk. It's easier for me. You know, the only time I use that fluffer is when I blend with that blender. So whichever way, just fluff it. Mix it very well. You see how I'm doing it. Mix it. At a point, you will notice that the color has changed. And when the color changes, you will notice also that it becomes stretchy. Everything has come together. I already started heating up the oil, but it's not on a high heat too on a low flame so that by the time I'll finish whisking this, the oil will be hot, but not too hot. We start molding akara on a moderately hot oil. At this point, I added that um, onion and chili that I chopped nicely. I also added salt. Then mix it one more time till everything is well incorporated and voila this is good to go now you can see how it's looking now we are going straight to fry the akara so i will use a spoon and mold this akara if you want to check if you fluffed your beans your beans paste very well as you mold it it will not scatter it will just stay there je, je, it will stay there so mold your beans paste until your pan is full, but don't overfill your pan. Now, allow this to fry a few minutes, then you turn the other side. Turn it from time to time until these beans are light golden brown. They are light golden. There is this color it will give you. At this point, your akara is done. Just take it out from the oil and line your bowl with your kitchen paper towel or kitchen tissues. Put this akara there so that the paper towel will drain the excess oil in the akara. So repeat the same process for the rest of the beans paste until they are all finished. 
Here they are, very tantalizing, smelling so inviting, <laughs> smelling so good, they are so inviting. So what will you pair this akara with? Hmm, those days eh, I love to pair it with very soft bread. Ah, but these days now, you know, you got to watch your weight, watch what you eat. Now I prefer to pair it with oats. So this is how I make my oats porridge. You will love it. In a pot, I'll add some milk, some vanilla flavor, and oats. You can use quick cooking oats or whole oats. I'll also add a pinch of salt, just a pinch of salt. I will stir this all up and bring the oats to a boil. As soon as it boils, I will allow it to cook for two to three more minutes and the oats is done. At this point, the oats will be thick. If it's too thick, you can add little more water or little more milk, depending on your choice. Your oat is ready. Just serve and enjoy. This oat porridge is the, in fact, is now the best option for me when it comes to Akara. This combo, eh, you need to try it. It makes a wenge sense. If you have watched till this point, thank you so much. If you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified of any of my uploads. By the grace of God, I shall see you again in my next video. Remember, in the bell cooks, we don't just cook. We cook for our health. Thank you so much for watching, lovelies. Bye-bye.